My name is Jing Hui Fang. I'm from Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology. The title of this paper is Hegewari's Theorem on Complete Sequence. The authors are Yong Gaochen and Jing Hui Fang. A sequence A of long negative integers is called complete. If all sufficiently large integers can be expressed as the sum of distinct terms taken from A. For sequence S equal to S1, S2, of positive integers and a positive real number alpha. Let S alpha equal to alpha S1, alpha S2, where well, this notation denotes to the greatest of integers no greater than alpha s1. Mu s be equal to the set of all alpha such that s alpha is complete. In 1995, Hegewari proved that for a sequence s of positive integers, if the limitation of s n plus 1 subtract s n equal to positive infinity, Sn plus 1 is lesser than gamma Sn for all sufficiently large integers n, where gamma is larger than 1 and less than 2. And mu s is not equal to empty set. Then mu us is larger than 0, where mu us is the bigger measure of mu s. In this paper, we remove the condition of this and prove that for sequence S of positive integers, if Sn plus 1 is lesser than gamma Sn for all sufficiently large n, where gamma is larger than 1 and less than 2, and mu S is not equal to empty set, then mu us is larger than 0. We also prove that if Sn plus 1 is lesser than gamma Sn for all sufficiently large n, well, gamma is larger than 1 and no less than 7 over 4. Then mu us is larger than 0. We give an example in this paper to show that if gamma is greater than 2, then the conclusion in theorem 2 can't hold. So we pose the following problem. Is it true that if s is a sequence of positive integers such that Sn plus 1 is less than gamma Sn for all sufficiently large n, where gamma is larger than 1 and less than 2, then mu s is not equal to empty set. That's all, thank you.